so we are um we got the 25 e1 the right hand column right -hand and tomorrow time. okay so we're going to go right into the key of the stories so we're going to go to the key of the so a young, a young, I guess, Talmud Chacham opened up the eulogy for Rabbi, Rabbi Mahuna. Goza Yeshinim Olam Nibavo. A disciple of Seth has come up from Babo. The Emoi Seth Alochamis. And with him, the Book of Wars, which is, of course, the Mechemes Satoira. Kof of Kippur Huchu. Kas and Kippur have combined. In other words, the curses. Because two of them, because both have come, Remember, there were two. There was Rabbi Bar Rav Huna and Rabbi Huna. So, in other words, both curses have combined. To observe the plunder and calamity that has come from Shinar. What's Shinar? Shinar is Bobo. So, what has come up from up to the death of two great, two great Kahanim? Right? Just give me a second. No, okay. Very good. Now. Kotzav al alomoi. Hashem has become enraged on the world. The chamas mimen anapsis and snatch souls from it. It should be pointed out. When did the chafetz chaim was nifta? 1933, the same year that Hitler rose to power. So you can say it's coincidental. The chafetz chaim was 90 something. But the point is, I don't really believe that Hitler could have rose to power while the chafetz chaim was still alive. There's a balance. But on the other hand, Akadosh Baruch Hu rejoices as one with a new bride. He who rides the high heavens is glad and rejoices. When an innocent and righteous soul comes back there. It's beautiful words. A certain eulogist opened up the, the, the Hespid. Timorim Nagiu Roish, palm trees wave your tops. Al Tzadik Katomo, Tzadik Katomo Yifroch, like a righteous person, like a palm tree. How does a palm tree grow? It has one branch and, and it spreads out. In other words, one soul, one great soul that spreads out. Nosim Leilis Kayomim, let us rend our nights like days with unceasing lamination. Al Sonim Leilis Kayomim, on he who used his nights like days. With unceasing Torah. And the Rambam, as you well know, writes that it's in that night when all the great, when, when it's quiet and all that, that one can really achieve greatness in Torah. Rabashi said to Bar Kippoik, who was a eulogist, on the day when I die, what will you say about me? Now, what should Bar Kippoik, what should he have said? He should have said, Rabashi, you're going to live a long life. I'm never going to eulogize you. Instead, he actually adds, answer it. Amalei, Amina, I'm going to say, in Karozim Nopleshilahebeth, if upon cedar trees a flame has fallen, my Yasu Oizvekir, what shall the high sap on the wall do? So, in other words, just the twigs on the wall. Leviosan Kachamohayalos, if the Leviosan was captured at sea with a fish hawk, what will the small fish, the, the, the herrings do? Into a rushing stream, dryness extends. Then what will be the stagnant poor pond water do? So another eulogist complained immediately that you should mention a fish hook and a flame with regard to somebody as righteous as Rabashi, those are those are languages of Gehenna. <laughs> so my umbra, so back of my Bakipuk said to Rabbi, what would you say? Now Rabab should have said the same thing. Right? What should he have said? I'm not gonna do that. He's gonna live a long and fruitful life. Instead, he said, Amino, Bahula Velim, cry for the mourners, Veloila Veda, and not for the lost object, the soul of the deceased. But look how he called the soul. Avedo, like lost. Right? So again, it was exactly the most proper way of fr framing this. Shehila Menucha, for the soul is designed for the peace in the Garden of Eden. Va'anullah Anucha, and we are going to be designed for sighing for the loss of such a great sage. Right away. Cholosh Tate Alayu, Rabashi felt dejected because number one, who wants to hear their own eulogy? Number two, 
he was compared to a flame and a hook. Number three, he was compared to uh, what do you call it? Uh, a lost object. And the male of their feet became inverted. They ended up with a disease where their feet twisted and their soles were pointing upwards. So Ahu uh, Yaiman that day, well, he also leaves food there. They were not available to do the husband. But Haida Dama Ravashi, this is what Ravashi meant when he said, Loy bar keeper khalif, loy bar oven khalif. Neither one are available to do chalitza because their feet are all messed up. Yes, yeah, so. Who is still hot? Good morning, Daddy. Well, we started because I got to leave early. Just the same thing is driving me so nice. You often drive me to the airport. Yeah, very, very, very nice. He's a tag. Yeah. By the way, he's just seven to Shabbos. That lady that was just present. I met her last night. The first thing, first thing, the first thing, the first thing she told me is, but I have this kind of meeting with Father at Embassy. An MSC. I was talking to her. I said, Where are you from? She says, Do you know Monroe? I said, You know Bernie Ackerman? She said, How do you know Bernie Ackerman? I said, Bernie Ackerman was one of the first 10 families in there. I said, Bernie was one of the first. She was like, How do you How do you know the trend here? Yeah, the I, 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 yeah, apparently, according to Charles, he loves coming here because he said such a fresh thing. We're on the. Uh, we're on the day. Uh, yes. You know, in a, in a tiny belt. Yeah, all of those who are older. Oh. She's going back uh, Later this week. Later this week. Chafei on the day, Daddy. on the day. Okay, so anyways, we're going to go further. Next case. Rabaki ha ya asal the dikkus. When he came to the tigris, the tigris. Amul leila bar oven. Okay. Amul leila bar oven. Kum ema milsa. Say something. to Say it a tefila, so that I may cross these dangerous waters safely. The majority of the third has entered the water. What is the third? Klai Yisrael is sometimes called the third. Why the third? Because we all know the most choicest meat is meat that is a third. A third good, like veal. The veal, the Gemara uses the term in veal, like that's grown uh, to land. That's like the third. That's what I'm looking for. So, it is the third. No, no, no. The third is Paul Yisrael. The majority is Rav himself. Because who was Rav? Rav was the Torah. Right? Was so was the Torah. So the majority of the third. He was the God of Zohar Barach. And remember and have mercy. We have strayed from following you like a wife who has strayed from a husband. Nonetheless, do not forsake us like the sign of the bitter waters. Now, so then we have, now we're going to have a bunch more. Okay, yeah, same idea. But well, here, here, the bitter waters were, of course, the tigers. Now we have over here, Chodin, Yochan, and Zera, Abba, Yaakov, Yosef, Shmuel, Chaya, Menachem, Simon, fine. These are all Hespedim that were things. Just talking about masses. Here we go. Rav Chodin, Cheshchasnei, the Beit. Thank you so much. Yeah. A to go cup. So Rav Chanan Chasnei debated Kedmisia Havi. Rav Chanan was a son-in-law in the house of the Nasi. He had married the Nasi's daughter. Like come Havi le Bnei, he did not have any children. By Yerachne he davened. By Havile and he had children, which teaches us that who's in charge of children the Rabbi Nishlev. But Ahu Yoyme the Havile Noch Nafshi. On the day that his child was born, Rav Chanan himself passed away. Certain eulogists opened up his hospital as follows. Simcho lesuga nefacha. Gladness has turned into sorrow. Sosem v'yogain nidvaku. Joy and sadness have become attached. Be'ez simcho seinenach. At the time of his gladness, he sighed. Be'ez chasinol se'obed chaninoi. 
at the time that the child was favored with life, the one who favored him, the one who davened for him and made him what he call it, be careful with the cover. It's not, it's not all the way down. Um, you need to put him in the middle. Um, what he called his favor was he was lost. And Asikule Chanan al Shemei, and the child was named Chanan after his father. Kinoch Nafshe de Rabbi Yochanan, when Rabbi Yochanan passed away, Posakole Rabbi Yitzchak bin Aloza, Kosha Hayoyli is so, this day is as difficult to call you so, Kiyoyim Ba Hashemesh bin Tsarayim, like the day when the sun set at midday, Dixiv, Bahoya Bayoyim Ahu. And it should be that day when I bring down the sun at midday. Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan himself explained, this is Yoshio Amelech, the righteous Yoshio, who nonetheless did not let the king of Mitzrayim come through the land. And Yirmiya told him, let him come through the land. And he thought that the nation was holy enough he thought that the nation was holy enough that they would be able to withstand it, and they weren't. And he was shot with 300 arrows. And on Tisha B'av, this is the most Iker of the Echas, of the Kinnis. Right? And he talks, this is the first the first great Kino of, of, of what do you call it? If you, say, if you don't say any Kinnis, and you only say this Kinnis, you covered your Kinnis. This one, I think it's Kinnis 11. About Yoshio. Kinoch Nafshin to Rabbi Yochanan when Rabbi Yochanan passed away. Again, Yosef Rabbi Ami Shiva Bishloishim. His Talmud Rabbi held Shiva and held the Shloishim. Amar Rabbi Abba Bereder Rabbi Abba Rabbi Ami the Ovid Legamri who the Ovid. He only did it in, on his own opinion. This is not the Halacha. Even though he's your Rabbi Mubik. This is not Allah's halacha. The hachi Amar Rav Chia Bar Abba Amar Rav Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan himself says this halacha. Afilu Rabbi Shalim with Chachma. Even your Rabbi Muvik that taught you your Chachma and Yoshev El All of El Yoy Mechon. One day you shall hold complete Avelu, but no more than one day. Kinoch Nafshe to Rav Zero Posach Lo Ahu Sabdono. A certain husband uh, was said. Eret Shino Hora Beolda, the land of Shino Bavel conceived and bore Abzeru was born in Bavel, but Eret Sevi killed the Shashua. But the convert the Eret Sevi, the land of the deer, which is really the coveted land of Eretz Yisrael, raised his delight. And he lived, and Abzeru lived in Tiberia. No. Right. The land is going to uh, is going to spread out. Just like it's speed that runs. Oh, oh, very interesting. I did not know that. I know law Umra the Rakas. Woe to her, says Rakas. Rakas is another name for the the Varia. The Gemara talks about this that the, the two names of Tveria a lot. Ki Abdo Bukli Chemdasa, whose precious Kaili, whose precious vessel, has now been lost. Of oh, Tiberia, it say is Rakas. Rakas. Yeah, but the, the Gemara says, my Rakas, my Tiberia, and it gives you many different reasons. Kinoch Nafshe de Rebbe Vua, when Rebbe Vua passed away, Asihu Amudi de Kesamaya, the pillars of case of Kesiria shed water. If you look on the bottom of the article, they make it very clear that it didn't start crying. It's euphemistic, but he said it, it started sweating. In other words, the idea was what he called. All of what we're about to learn are all euphemistically. That's a that's a Mashiach is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, look, Mashiach is coming. It was a broken bike. Okay, Mashiach is coming. You're up. You see. Shoftu Mar Zobe de Tsipari Damai, the goddess of Tsipari sprouted blood. It was actually dirty water. Okay, the Rav Yaakov is Chamil. Yeah, come in. I'm saying again, yeah, the idea of it only is on that day certain things happen that they apply to the death. Laws, exactly. The Rav Yaakov is Chamil Kachayfe Biyomo. The stars were visible during the day. The Rav Asi Ikaru Kol Ilonayim. 
all the trees were uprooted. Fiery stones, fiery stones descended from the sky. The graven images of the idols and on coins were flattened and became like slabs. That's because he never looked at an engrave, an engravement ever. Okay? He never looked at an engravement at all. He never went shopping. He never went shopping. Right. There you go. That's it, because he didn't look at a quarter. The Rabbi Chanina Bachia is cut to call on the Darte. All the monuments of the kings were cut down, which were. Coins. You never see any pictures of a person. You'll see a Bermuda, you'll see. Right, no, no, we never, we never put people on our coins. Which, by the way, is, is which I am going to be um, talking about in the next, either this week or next week. There is a classic in the Torah when they did the ego. The Rabbi Shalom says, Moshe, because I'm from your nation that you took it out of Egypt has sinned. The Avis that tells that to Moshe, your nation that you took out of Egypt. Not my nation that I took out of Egypt. If you look carefully, the eagle was never about Hashem. They weren't looking to replace Hashem. Who were they looking to replace? Which meant that there was ah, which meant that there was a flaw in the leadership of Moshe. Moshe had become so indispensable that these people were lost without them. Leadership, Jewish leadership, is not to create demigods. Is not to create, it's to create other leaders. No, no, I, I didn't say that. I didn't say Moish has to show them. So, a Chava Mani, I mentioned this already in, in Semi but you know something? That explains why. When's the first time we bank into Yeshua? Here by the mice of the ego. He came down, and the first thing he started doing was empowering Yeshua. Moshe. So that's right, because a rebbe that becomes too much of a rebbe, right? That's no good. Famous story with the Sfas Emes. An older lady came to me with a problem, and she said, "I'm coming to you with the rebbe because the rebbe is always answered, and he refused to daven for her for an hour." Finally, she said, "Ah, forget about you. I'll daven to the rabbi Shlaim. He always answers." God said, ah, now I'll doubt. Now I'll doubt. Let's not get, Lord, don't deify human beings. And that is a very important thing in life, which unfortunately gets lost far too often. We create cult that the Abundant Son does not want cult. <laughs> yes, and the, the great leader. The, the grandfather. The and father. If you don't bow down to it. Oh, you already know you know that. You can get, you get arrested. Yeah. What? That has to do with Stalin and Lenin. Lenin. Stalin and Lenin's all Stalin. Right. I didn't even think of that, but you're right. It's, 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 you don't bow down to it. You don't bow down. Remember what they did to that boy uh, who took, uh, uh, took something to the wall? Uh, he died. He was, he was, oh, he was tortured. Remember, there was a kid, an American kid that was tortured. Oh, then he had Jewish kids. What was he doing in North Korea? By some very cool. But the um, the point here is, even Moshe Rabbeinu, un, he didn't mean to do this. It goes back to a free apostolic, I think, where it says Moshe. Everybody was afraid of Moshe. Moshe God of noise. Right at the end of Shemais, right? He was Godamite. It became a cult of personality around Moshe Rabbeinu. That's why when he was one day late, they freaked out. That only happens when a cult of personality is grown. Very good thing. Anyways, let's go by. The Rabbi Eliyoshik, 
Here's the first Rebbe Yosef, by the way. It's is Ichatru Shivim Mach Terosa Binahador. Seventy burglaries were perpetrated in that dog. No, it's while he was alive, they were too afraid to do burglaries. You know, when they, when they discovered the tunnel in the Asis from Hamas and uh, yeah. that because of the discourse of Rabbi Eliashe. Rabbi Eliashe. They bring this Kamara. Oh, that's very funny. Rabbi Eliashe. Right. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Very good. There is, right? They found the rabbis right? while he was alive. They found the tunnels. The rabbi Nuno, the chisu bekapi devar do the mirikia. Hailstones descended from the sky. The rabbi and Rabbi Yosef, when Rabbi and Rabbi Yosef passed away, noshi kapi the fresu da adodi. The supporting arches over the bridge of the Euphrates touched each other. They broke. The abay verava noshi kapi the dikla adodi. The supporting arches of the tigers broke. The palm trees produce thorns. We are now on today's daf. Here we go. Okay? We got about 15 minutes and then I got to run. These are the rents that are never allowed to be mended. Remember what we said before. That, yeah, no, no, no. no. This, a son does not a A father. Don't be ridiculous. The Elik. No, yes, when you're leaving. I said, I'm leaving this morning. I said, what do you consider? Hey, I could take. So the Rebbetson allows. The Elu Karin Shane Mithach. You know how it goes. We've done it. Everybody does it for everybody else. If if, if Jeff Koch would have done it because uh, he can't take care of the Danish. Yeah, but I could be the kind of keep it out. That's it. Remember, we talked about rising Kriya, but you cannot fix it. That's why we throw away the shirts after we sit rise cream for appearance. Our rabbi Shalim Matoiro, your Rebbe Murik, Al Anasi, the ruler, Val Abbezin of the Sanhedrin. Val Shmuis Royce and over bad tidings, what that means, the Gemara will talk about. Val Birka Sashain, that means Khatsham, you hear a blessing, I in quotes, meaning Lahabdul, just the opposite. Everybody take a look at the top Toysis. Just want to show you the top line. Not just from a Jew. Val Birka Sashain de Nochrim. If one hears cursing from a goy, Pligi Hachabir Shalmi. There's an argument in Yerushalmi whether you also have to rise Korea. Interesting. That means when you hear somebody say the word God, right? You know, today it's just, you know, people just talk that way. People don't think about what they're saying. It's not so push it. It's not push it at all. While safe Torah and Israel on a safe Torah that burns and, and as a it's the same thing, right? But one second, Val Val Sefer Torah That means, as we're going to see, even if only one sentence in a Torah is burnt, if you only see one sentence in the Tanakh burnt, you have to go ahead and what what it called. You have to rise Kriya. Val Ore Yehuda. If you see the ruins of the city of Yehudas of the Judeans. Even then, they knew from Samaria and Judea, they knew that Judea would be in, in what he called Bala Migdosh Valley Yerushalayim. But today, when we come to the Kaisel, what do we do when we come to the Kaisel? You haven't seen the Kaisel for 30 days? You have to rise Korea, right? You do have to rise Korea. So, the Kaira Allah Migdosh Umaisiv Al Yerushalayim, and one who rents his, his garment on the Migdosh. So, if, let's say he came in a closed box. To the base of the shore, he came from the other side and then sees Yerushalayim. So, there, in other words, he first rips for Yerushalayim and then continues the rip when he sees the ruins of Yerushalayim. Whether that applies today, given that Yerushalayim is rebuilt in a sense, in fact, it's much larger than its original in environs. We all know the size of the old city that was really Yerushalayim. 
We have, today we do rent that because when you get onto the plaza of the Kaisel, when you're in the plaza of the Kaisel, you do before you approach the Kaisel, you have to rip, you have to rip your clothes. So that's the thing. Other the Imoy, the Rabbi Shalim, the a father and a mother, and your Rebbe Muvik, how do you know you have to rise, Kriya? The Ksiv, when Alicia saw, when Alicia saw Elio ascend in the chariot and then disappear over the horizon, we learned two things, by the way. He saw Elio disappear over the horizon, but there we know that it was always known to the Jews that the world was round. There was never a time that Jews were ever flat, thought the world was flat, because you can't disappear over the horizon unless the world was round, obviously. So, no, it said he saw it as big until he disappeared, then he couldn't see him anymore over the horizon. Go look at the Pesuk and you'll see what it says. Yeah. Why is he not What about the other? had a much greater thing because Are Yehuda led into Yerushalayim. If you remember, Yerushalayim and everything was in the property of Yehuda and, and until the middle by the Mizbeach descending to Binyamin. That's why. No, no, no. It means, no, it means mid by Yehuda. No, the, the, the southern team. Yeah, they were two kingdoms. They were two kingdoms. Yeah. 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 Because Ari Yehuda, this is what I'm trying to tell you, Ari Yehuda were, were, more, were more holy, were a more holy nation. Avoid that they were the ones who kept kept the Torah for much, in a much more greater way than than uh, Malchus Yisrael. So Haraya, what do we have today? We're all from where? From Malchus Yehuda. I'm saying we're from Malchus Yehuda. The Levim stayed in Malchus Yehuda because they could serve in the Beis Hamikdash. So when Elisha saw, listened to the beautiful, famous words, Elisha's poetic words, but Elisha Roya and Elisha was watching Bahumitzayik and he was shouting. Avi, Avi, Father, Father, Rechev Yisrael, Parash of Israel's chariot and horsemen. And then look at the next words. And then he saw him no more. He took hold of the garment and rent him into two torn pieces. That's why you know he didn't have flesh. He didn't have flesh. He didn't have flesh. He didn't have flesh. Yes, he didn't say that he went over Wow. Yes, he said he went wow. over the ark. Yeah, yeah, but he didn't go straight up like that. He went over the horizon. Look at it. Avi, Avi, Zeh, Avi, the Imai, Rechev, Yisolo, Parosha, and Zu, Rabbi, Shalim, Mutayra. My mashma, how do you know that this is what it means? Kedetagamin, Rabbi, I said, Rabbi, Rabbi, the Havloin, the Yisol, Bitzeloi, Lise, Marsichin, Uparosha, teach your teacher who's more beneficial to Klaal Yisol than the prey with his davening than the chariots and horsemen. Beloi, Miss Achin, Minolan, and how do we know they can never be mended? The Ksiva, Chazak, Begodeva, Yikreim, Lishnaim, Kairim. And he rent them any a day of the Shnaim that he ripped them in two places. And the Shnaim Leon. And he said, We ripped them out the Two. What he called it means he rent them into two torn sections forever and they were never mended. Wait a minute. Elio never died. Elio descended to heaven in. Uh, what it could go live? Amalek even the Ksiv v'loy ro'ei u'oy. He didn't saw him no more. Lagabi didei kamei sami. Very good. So that means even if your rabbi goes away, but you think you might be able to see him, right? You don't rise kriya. It's only when you have to know you'll never see him again that you rise kriya. Nasi va'abezin shemua rois v'nol. And how do we know the other three? The nasi, the head of the Sanhedrin. And the bad tidings, so do we know? So on 26, A2, okay, says the Gemara, the Ksim, the Yechazik Dovu, the Big Dov, the Yikrim, the Gam, Kol, and Noshim, and Sharitai, when they heard that Shola Melech and Yonason were killed, and 
the pastors most of Klal Yisrael. The pastors, there's a swear here to say that most of Klal Yisrael was killed in this battle. So they went ahead, they grabbed hold of his garments and ripped them, and all the people that were with him, the Ispitu, the Yipka, the Yatsumo out of Arab, they laminated, they, they, they cried and they wept and fasted until the evening. Val Shol, Val Yonis, and Benay, Val Ama Shem, Val Beis Yisol, Kinoflu Bechorev. Shol Zunasi, that's the nation, that's the Nasi, the ruler. Yonis, Zu Abes, Al Ama Shem. Val base his soul, Elu Shmuel Sarois, that's the bad tidings. Omele Ra Bashabo, the Rafkano, Bema Chaad the Havikov. Maybe you don't rent until you get all three things together, not on each individual thing. Omele, Al Al, his beginning. The fact that the Pusik uses the word Al Shol, the Al Yonison, the Al Ama Yisro, the Al base soul, it separates it. But do we actually rent our garments over bad tidings? But they reported to Shmuel, King Shipper has killed 12,000 Jews in Mizgaz, Katsiria, Veloy Koran. He didn't rip his clothes. The only rip it when the majority of the congregation gets killed. Like what happened by Saul and his sons, where most of the Kla Yisrael was killed. So afraid to come on me, Kotel Shavar Malki Yudai, but King Shapur ever killed Jews, he was a tzaddik. For Amale Shavar Malki Yishmuel, Tasily Deloy Mikli Yehuda Miyanim, I should be deserving of a reward that I never killed any Jew. Says the Gemara, no, he was considered a righteous. He was considered a righteous king. Hosam Inu. Yeah, but it was for the righteous, the righteous guy. Ahu inu the Jews of Mizgar brought it upon themselves because they rebelled against King Shapur. The Amama Rabami and the Kel Yitzre, the Mizgaz Kesiri, by the noise of the harp strings of Mizgat Kesiri, when they played gleefully, when they rebelled, Pokak Shura Dulka, the walls of the city of Lutkia cracked. Al birchas Hashem in Olam when heaven forbid there's a birchas Hashem. How do you know you have to rent your clothes? The Ksiv, this is by Chizkiyo, Chizkiyo Amelach. They came to Chizkiyo Amelach by Yoba Yeliyokim ben Chukiyo Ashal Alabayis and Eliyokim ben Chukiyo was the head of the palace. The Shivna Asoyfe the Yoich ben Yetsef Hamaskir El Chizkiyo Kiruye begodim with rent clothes. Whether one hears the blasphemy itself, who hears a report about it, is to rip his clothes. The eight, yeah, the, the oh, yeah, at the end of the parish over there. So, again, I'm, that's why they don't bring a riot from there. So, it doesn't say anything over there. Here, I is a question that was a man, right? Right, most 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 right. Because first of all, they didn't know the halach, so that's the first thing. You know the halach, See, and you only rise when you hear it, not when you well, not later on. Number three, that was a messed up story because the truth of the matter is that young man was not accepted by the shaver dog because his father was an right. Egyptian. So they really, they pushed him into blasphemy. The nation did not behave correctly. They boxed him into a corner so that it was blasphemy. So that's why that story is not a good story to clock. Okay, in other words, his mother was raped by a guy and he was born to, so he was a Jew, but he didn't have a Shevet. But his mother was from Shevet Dutch and wanted to be with Shevet Dutch and baby John made fun of him and all that. And in other words, they made him into a man with no place. Right, so they, in other words, they didn't put it, they, they made the child into a, a guy who had no, no, nowhere to go. So what happens when such a thing happens? When that such a thing happens, he lost it. And that's why it's what he called. Anyway, so, so it says the Gemara over here, but the witnesses who are reporting, who are reporting about the blasphemy, Shekla Karpa Pesha 
Okay, they what do you call they already heard, so they already ripped their clothes because of Shmuel. We're gonna finish very shortly here. What's the difference if they ripped their clothes when they heard it? Now they're repeating it, they should rip it again. Don't think that. It came to pass when Chizkio heard what happened, he cut his, he ripped his clothes. The king ripped it, but they did not rip it. Word for word. Right, they, 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 yes. But the, yeah, but the question is whether to a king, who's the ruler, that you have to report, you may have to... Uh, Say exactly. Okay, Veloy Mesachniminolan. How do we know that you do not mend it? Asia Kriya Kriya. You actually learn it from three versions of Kriya. This is where we're going to stop. We learn it from Chiskio, right over here, and from Alicia, and from Dobi Bishasta Batira of So. All three together, put it together. I know we're a little behind, but I got to roll to catch a plane. So 